For about the first maybe 10, 12 minutes of this game, it seemed like nothing could go right, but then that switch was flipped, and for the rest of the game, it seemed like nothing could go wrong. What kind of changed from those first 10, 12 minutes? Yeah, I'll be honest, it was very little schematic change, and more importantly, I just thought we were not playing up to our level from a toughness standpoint, from an effort standpoint, the first 10 to 12 minutes of the game. But a credit to our guys, I think it's really hard to change that in the middle of the game as the game's going on. And I thought our guys did a great job responding. And in probably the last 25 minutes, we played at the level at which we needed to play. And you saw what we're able to do when we play like that. And when the team is playing like that, it's such an added dimension when Civils and when Arrington and especially Dylan Bailey played the way they did. 100%. I think, obviously, when you see a Dylan Bailey, you see Jackson, you see Anthony, those guys bang shots. I think that looks really good. That's really cool. But a big reason we're in a position to make those shots is we're generating stops. You know, Kyler being really tough, Bilal and Jeremy doing a great job, flying around, being active, making plays. I thought Corey Tripp, not only was he great at distributing the ball and guarding the ball, I thought he and Quentin did a phenomenal job of making the right plays. And I thought Corey's leadership today was phenomenal. Chase Martin getting back in the starting lineup, it really seems like has brought a lot of defensive intensity to this, uh, to this lineup. Yeah, Chase Martin, when he's playing well, he is a Swiss Army knife. He can defend, he can rebound, he can score, he can attack. He has a phenomenal IQ and understanding of the game. He's super valuable out there. In some ways, he's very invaluable with what you can do with him on the floor, on both sides of the floor. And so when he's playing well like he did today, he really helps us and elevates our defense and elevates our versatility on the offensive end. Because again, he's just super, super versatile with what he can provide as a basketball player. Jalen McCreary has torn many teams up this season. You held him to, I believe, nine points. What is it about this staff, and it's something we've talked about earlier in the season, that can really just lock in on a team's number one scorer and remove him from the game? Yeah, I think, again, Jalen's a really good player. He does a really good job. He's super, super tough and talented. But I think for us, we just try to make it tough for him. We tried to, we said we were going in, we weren't going to hold him scoreless. He's a really good player. But can we make it tough? Can we make his shots contested? Can we try to keep him off the offensive glass and limit his easy scores? And a credit to our whole team for doing that. Obviously, Jeremy and Jackson and Kyler, you know, and Bilal guarded him the majority of the time. But I thought our guards, right, Chase Cormier, Anthony, Q, Corey, they did a great job of being in the gaps and just making him see multiple bodies and making it tough for him all night. Last question, what are you feeling for snack time? Oh, gummy bears. Gummy bears and a Coke have my name written all over it. Enjoy the win. Thank you.